The first section of HMS Glasgow, a new class of Royal Navy warship, is rolled out at a shipyard on the River Clyde. In a move that lasted 90 minutes, the forward section of HMS Glasgow which contains the bridge, operations room and accommodation spaces, was maneuvered into position on the hardstand at Argovan Yard, where it will be joined by the aft section in the coming weeks. The Type 26 vessels will uphold the three key naval functions within the service, maritime security, international engagement and warfighting. Alongside the UK's pending Type 31 frigates, they will help make up the future generation of the Royal Navy. HMS Glasgow is the first in a new generation of cutting-edge Type 26 frigates, designed and built in the ship's namesake city. Supporting more than 4,000 jobs across the UK, the program is making a significant contribution to the nation's economic recovery by maintaining much-needed skills and capabilities. To date, more than £1 billion has been invested across the program's supply chain, with more than 100 suppliers globally. While HMS Glasgow moves out into the open air for the first time, work continues on the second in class, HMS Cardiff, with construction to start on HMS Belfast later in the year. The Type 26s are expected to continue in service beyond the middle of the 21st century and are expected to feature in counter-piracy and disaster relief operations. One of their roles will be to provide advanced protection for the UK's nuclear deterrent and Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers, as well as offering an anti-submarine warfare capability. The plan is for them to form the future of the Royal Navy with the Type 31 frigate, which will be built by defense firm Babcock. The Type 26 frigate is an advanced anti-submarine warship, which will deliver critical protection of the Royal Navy's continuous at sea deterrent and carrier strike group. The ships will replace the UK's Type 23 frigates, with the first set to enter service in the mid-2020s. Each Type 26 will be equipped with a range of world-class capabilities including the Sea Scepter missile defense system, a 5-inch medium-caliber gun, flexible mission bay, Artisan 997 medium-range radar, and tow ray sonars. The flight deck will be able to accommodate helicopters up to the size of a Chinook, while the mission bay can quickly adapt to house and deploy vessels, vehicles, and containers. The Type 26 is the original variant of BAE Systems Global Combat Ship, which supports a close partnership between the Royal Navy, Royal Canadian Navy and the Royal Australian Navy. Australia and Canada both selected a variant of the Type 26 design for their anti-submarine frigate programs, supporting greater operational, training and intelligence ties between the three nations. A total of eight ships will be built on the Clyde as part of the Type 26 program and will start being delivered to the Royal Navy from the mid-2020s. The 6,900-ton frigates will have a top speed of 26 knots and a total range of 7,000 nautical miles each. All of the Type 26s will be based at Devonport Naval Base in Plymouth, with the first three vessels being manufactured by BAE Systems as part of a £3.7 billion contract. The names of all eight Type 26s have been revealed as the following, HMS Glasgow, HMS Cardiff, HMS Belfast, HMS Birmingham, HMS Sheffield, HMS Newcastle, HMS Edinburgh, and HMS London. In November 2020, BAE Systems was awarded a contract by the Ministry of Defence worth £3.7 billion to construct the first three ships. The Type 26 is the original variant of the BAE Systems Global Combat Ship, which supports a close partnership between the Royal Navy, Royal Canadian Navy and the Royal Australian Navy. Australia and Canada selected versions of the Type 26 designed for their own anti-submarine frigate programs. In October last year, it was announced the UK and Australia would work together to build and deliver the Type 26 frigate program. Both countries signed a memorandum of understanding to collaborate on the project, as well as working together on the Royal Australian Navy's Hunter-class frigate program. 
The Sea Scepter is a sea-based supersonic missile defense system developed for the British Royal Navy. The system will initially be mounted on Type 23 frigates. There is a plan to subsequently use them on Type 26 global combat ships. The Sea Scepter missile system was developed by MBDA Missile Systems, a partnership between BAE Systems, EADS and Finmechanica. The Sea Scepter program will support approximately 500 jobs in the UK. Thales UK develops and manufactures the laser proximity fuse for the Sea Scepter's missile as part of a contract signed in January 2012. The Type 26 frigates being built for the Royal Navy have been designed from the outset with a mission bay. The mission bay concept is not a new innovation, and several navies have fielded warships with a flexible mission space for some years. The growth in unmanned naval warfare technologies and off-board systems offer a whole new way to equip warships and every self-respecting surface combatant design of today includes space for them. Artisan is a software-driven radar and service with the Royal Navy, including on board the UK's new aircraft carriers HMS Queen Elizabeth and her sister ship HMS Prince of Wales. It's a medium-range surveillance target designation and air traffic management radar for ships and comes in standard, long-range and compact variants. Capable of detecting objects as small as a tennis ball and traveling at three times the speed of sound more than 25 kilometers away, Artisan can monitor more than 900 objects simultaneously from 200 to 200,000 meters and cut through radio interference equal to 10,000 mobile phone signals. In a statement, BAE System said, the emergence of HMS Glasgow is a very proud moment for everyone involved and is testament to the skills and passion of our workforce. We have now completed the construction of all units of the ship, and in the coming weeks our skilled teams will bring the hull together for the first time. The rollout is a huge milestone for the Type 26 program. It's evidence of our solid progress in building the first of a new class and presents an opportunity for us to celebrate the progress being made with our colleagues, our suppliers, our customer and the city of Glasgow. I pay tribute to the hard work and skill of all those involved in the design and manufacture of this ship and look forward to seeing the two halves of the ship coming together at BAE Systems Shipyard on the Clyde in the coming weeks. The rollout of the forward section of HMS Glasgow, the first of the Type 26 class, hails a landmark moment for this cutting-edge vessel and a huge step forward for the program. I pay tribute to the hard work and skill of all those involved in the design and manufacture of this ship and look forward to seeing the two halves of the ship coming together at BAE Systems Shipyard on the Clyde in the coming weeks.